50 kilometers northwest from Beijing city lies the Ming tombs, the general name given to the mausoleums of 13 emperors of the Ming dynasty. The mausoleums have been perfectly preserved, as has the necropolis of each of the many emperors. Because of its long history, palatial and integrated architecture, the site has a high cultural and historic value. The layout and arrangement of all 13 mausoleums are very similar, but vary in size, as well as in the complexity of their structures. It was originally built only as Changling, the tomb of Emperor Chu Di and his empresses. This is the most magnificent of the tombs. The succeeding 12 emperors had their tombs built around Changling. Only the Changling and Dingling tombs are open to the public. Changling, the chief of the Ming tombs, is the largest in scale and is completely preserved. Chu Di was the fourth son of Chu Yuang Chang, the first emperor of Ming dynasty. In 1399, after the first emperor's death, the throne was passed down to the son of the crown prince. The young emperor Jian Wen proved to be too weak, in politics and military action, it took only four years, that he was driven away from the throne. 2D had ended Jian Wen's reign. 2D and his administration spent the latter part of 1402, brutally purging China of Jian Wen's supporters. Though in the end, 2D came to the throne, at Nanjing reign titled as Yong Lo, literally perpetual happiness. In the year 1421, after a brand new capital constructed at his order, he moved the capital from Nanjing to Beijing. Also Emperor Yang Lo had the Grand Canal of China repaired, and reopened in order to supply the new capital of Beijing, in the north with a steady flow, of goods and southern foodstuffs. Emperor Yang Lo sponsored, the massive and long-term Tsanghe expeditions, these were China's only major sea-going explorations of the world. Emperor Yang Lo sponsored and created many cultural traditions in China. He promoted Confucianism, and kept traditional ritual ceremonies, with a rich cultural theme. He commissioned his grand secretary, Qi Jin, to write a compilation of every subject and every known book of the Chinese. The book named the Yang Lo Encyclopedia, is still considered one of the most marvelous human achievements. Many have seen Emperor Yang Lo as in a lifelong pursuit of power, prestige, he is remembered very much for his cruelty. According to historical records, even in his mausoleum at Changling, 16 lives were sacrificed for martyrdom. The architecture in Changling are of magnificence, especially the Ling and Hall, the architecture style of which is identical to that of the Supreme Harmony Hall in the Forbidden City. Ling and Hall represented the highest architecture and artistic level of Ming Dynasty. The beams, columns and trusses are all made of Nanmu. Nanmu is a species of plant and is now threatened by habitat loss. The diameter of internal columns are even more than one meter. Nanmu columns of such a big size are rarely found all over the world. This palace has been maintained quite well up to now, and it represents a typical architectural style of the Ming Dynasty. Unlike Changling, Dingling is underground and about 27 meters deep. It is the mausoleum of Emperor Chu Yi Jun, the 13th emperor, who occupied the throne, the longest during the Ming dynasty, and his two empresses. The main features are the stone bridge, Seoul Tower, Bao Cheng and the underground place, 
which was unearthed between 1956 and 1958. The entire palace is made of stone. The Seoul Tower is symbolic of the whole of Dingling, and it forms the entrance to the underground chambers. This emperor was a recluse, whose apparent inattention to government affairs, contributed to the abuses of power by provincial officials and other political figures, that came to dominate that era of Chinese history. The violence and corruption among leaders of the northern provinces, led to much popular dissatisfaction and unrest, preparing the way for the invasion from the north by the Manchu, who subsequently conquered all of China, and established the Qing Dynasty. Served by three stone doors, it is divided into three halls consisting of five high palaces, the front, the middle, the rear, the left and the right palaces. The front hall, considered the square of the palace, has no building within it. No special artifacts remain in either the left and right palaces. However, each has a centrally placed white marble coffin bed. A paved path leads to the central hall, where there are three white marble thrones. Incense, kennels and flowers were set in front of the thrones. Before each of them, there are glazed five offerings, and a blue china jar, that would have been filled with sesame oil, to be used for lamps. The rear hall is the main and biggest part of the palace. The coffins of Emperor Chu Yijun and his two empresses are in this palace. There are also some precious items displayed with these coffins. 